Hello and welcome to the show. I am back here today in Teardown, going to be continuing playing some more of this awesome game. Now, since I last played, I did go back and do the car heist mission again to get the full six stars. I get well, I got all of the cars, basically, with some sneaky moving around, uh, which means I've got some new stuff unlocked. I unlocked the planks last time. These are really cool. Uh, we'll see them in action. Oh, it's got a pipe bomb. Which, as you, well, you can guess how that works. We can just blow holes in things. Uh, which will, that's actually a very sturdy wall. You know what, these pipe bombs are not as powerful as I thought. I think I can upgrade them. I've also got the money because, as people said, there is a sneaky way to, oh, yeah, go in here. There's a sneaky way to get a whole load of extra money. It's found by this furnace. If we, oh god, no. Mine are blowing up. Well, we need to do that a little bit. Just, oh crap, I apparently got the pipe bomb stuck on the door. Why are we dropping them? Why are you not throwing them? Did I drop one? I don't actually know. Basically, you blow up around here. Woo! We need to log a fuse on the pipe bombs. I shouldn't be given explosives. I'm not I'm not safe to have explosives. You basically blow up the furnace, you can go underneath it, there's a big old cave, and in there there is a banana that for some reason is worth six hundred, eight hundred dollars. I should never be given explosives. However, there's a big old cave somewhere around the back here. Woo! There we go. That, see, it did the trick. Um yeah, down here. I don't quite know how I'm going to get out of here. I, did, I didn't really think that through. And then there's a banana that floats on here. So, there we go. It's worth a lot of money, which is how I've got the cash. Uh, can I actually build my way out of here? Well, maybe we just used to show how the planks work. Uh, so we can then climb up like so. You know what? I think it's going to be quicker just to do a restart. But that's how we get all of the money and how I've unlocked various bits and pieces. We are going to go and jump into the next mission that I have to do. Uh, so... The only mission I have left available to me is one in the marina. So we're going back over here. We've got to go and get some GPS devices. Now, I've seen the various... I saw I recorded the last couple of videos pretty much back to back, so I didn't see some of the suggestions that people had. But I have seen some suggestions. Uh, some of the stuff doesn't work. I don't know whether it used to and has been updated. Um, however, the suggestion of using a blowtorch to cut bits of vehicle away to free it from alarms doesn't seem to work anymore. I tried it and it does doesn't it doesn't seem to work basically. Um, we are going to I mean I want to get all of them basically. Now there are some things that we can do cleverly here, I hope, at least. Okay, so the boat one over there. Um Alright, what I'm thinking is we've got to get everything to the exit point. We're gonna have 60 seconds when we bust the alarm. So if I get as many things over here as I can that are movable. So that boat is movable. That car, unless that's connected to something, that's movable. So we can move both those two ones that are quite far away. They can be moved. That one there, I don't know where that one there is. That one there, I suspect, can't be moved unless we can drop part of the building out. That one might be able to be moved. Depends on how the boat... Oopsie. I'm going to try and do this professionally. Inevitably fail, get distracted and break things. That is the fail right there. Let's go and get the first... Let's go get the, the easy movable one, the boat on the trailer. I feel like that's an easy movable one. Um, yeah, let's go do that. Can I... Hey, look at that. We can open a gate. Can I do... <laughs> it's a challenge. Can you play tear down without destroying stuff? Could you? Probably. Am I going to be able to resist the temptation to break things? No, no. <laughs> Don't be silly. There will be breakages. Uh, right, so this thing here. Are you connected? That's the thing we're looking for. You are not connected to anything else. Happy days. Um, awesome. So I guess if we just drive this... Unless we manage to bust it too much. We should be good to go. We can just... Twi oh! Well, the boat's not gonna boat very well. Float, I believe, is the correct technical term, but I'm going to not use that. I much prefer my own made-up words. Yes. Uh, <laughs> just not crash into everything while we're going along here. Okay, so this one here can be ready. So we will literally grab this and be ready to go. So this will be the last one that we get. We'll park it right next to the van. There we go. Okay, cool. So that's there and ready. Uh, the other thing we've got to try and get is the big ass boat. Get that somewhere. Oh, because I hate this gate. Uh, so I've been using the blowtorch a little bit more. I figured out how to use it. I figured out the uses of it. It's not just setting fire to things. You can actually do some useful stuff with it. Like so. It's actually quite a powerful tool. Uh, <laughs> and now I can throw the gate away. Into the what? Jeez, I'm strong. Bloody hell. Oh, crap. I can see that wires over there is not it's not, I can't sail the boat over here. I mean, let's face it, we're going to have to do some some time frantically running around. Uh, what was it? The, case? the big the big boat. Got to get the big old boat uh, across. How do I get on the big boat? 
Ooh, planks, of course, the new thing that I haven't really used before. There is a problem. How do I use the planks on the big old boat? I've got to get close enough. So the way these work, they're really cool, is we can plonk these down. This is going to be highly efficient. Or I'm going to fall in the water. Uh, so we place those. Can I do... If I do like that... Ah, oh, nuts. <laughs> uh, can I pick that up? Is that long enough to reach? Maybe? It's almost there. So you can actually use this for a whole bunch of clever things. Um... Actually, here's an idea. Okay, let's get rid of that. It's not worked. This is risky. We're going for a dumb maneuver. Does this work? I don't actually know. Can we... Could I maybe just cut away the things? You can see it getting damaged. Apparently not. Maybe I need to ram a truck into it. I could go for the old... I want to go for a different method. Other than... I don't want to go crash the crane into it again. I mean, while that was funny... Where are the other boats? There's a boat over there. Do we not have any other boats? No? Am I going to have to swim? I don't really want to swim. Oh, don't make me swim. What I was... So... Right. Long way about it. I'm not explaining very well, as is often the case when I play this sort of game. I'm going to try and tow the big boat. Now, this is doable. Uh, I, well, I say it's doable. Theoretically, you can tow vehicles. You can connect planks between two vehicles, and you will be able to pull them around. I don't know how well it's going to work if I use a smaller boat to pull a massive boat. I mean, I was using construction vehicles to tow cars, and that's fine. How well these are going to go. I'm going to use the big... I'm not going to use the little, like, motor launch. I don't know if... I don't know my boat... My nautical terms. I feel like that's right, but I could also be very, very wrong. You know what? I'm going to be lazy. Uh, we're going to just jump into there. Right. Big old kind of speedboat. Nice, luxury, comfy boat. Whoops. I've taken out a lot of the pier. Got to remember, everything's destructible here. Okay. Do you have a good anchor? Why do I get the feeling the answer to that is going to probably be no? I, I suspect it's not going to have a great anchor. Uh... <laughs> Why am I doing this the comp? There's so many easier ways. This is more of a question of can I, not is this a sensible way of doing it. So what happens if we just do that? Does that actually connect? Has that connected to the boat? Yes. Okay. It does look like it will tow it. Stop! Please stop! Thank you. Uh, right. Now with. Just a second. Now. Can I get out? Oh, please let me get out. Please don't make me swim. Don't, I don't like swimming. No, not really. I mean, I could blow it up, I guess, from it. No, I'm going to place the pipe bomb more carefully. Otherwise, I'm going to blow holes in the boat, and then we sink it, and then things fail. I haven't actually looked at where the thing... I just presume it's on the boat somewhere. Where is the thing that looks like it? I see the wires, at least. Okay, so... Theoretically... That is one strong pillar. Have another one. <laughs> okay. We have severed that. And there's definitely a better way of doing this, but this is more entertaining. Uh, <laughs> right, jump around on this stuff, and then we'll blow up the other one, and then we'll find... Oh, there's... God, there's so many of them! I could use the alternative option. I mean, there is the alternative option of, as fun as explosives are, why not crash a truck in... Oh, no, the bulldozer. Yes, well, kind of bulldozer. I don't know my construction vehicles. I know they're good at breaking things. That's what I know they're good at. Right, so if we just go and put the scoop down... Oh, that does the trick. Excuse me, fish and chip. Maybe, well, it's fish truck. Maybe not the chips. I don't know. Hopefully. And that's a goner. Oh, as is my vehicle. Ooh. Oh, sorry, truck. It had to be done. Can this lift up the truck? New question. Yes. Yes, yes, it can. This isn't the mission, but it is fun. <laughs> Uh, can we, I guess we can, oh, kind of, oh, why don't you carve out the chassis? Oh, new game idea. New dumb idea. Do I have another car? Is there another vehicle around I can test this on? Oh, the Land Rover. Yes. Okay. Idea has struck, I, well, okay. <laughs> My brain is not working. My idea was see the truck up there, made me wonder, could I cut a vehicle in half? And if I do, can it still drive? So what if we cut the Land Rover in half? Yes. Okay, so we're going to cut the Land Rover down the door. Will this make it inoperable? I don't know. It's a little bit on fire. No, 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 Land Rover, I don't want you on fire. This is very Top Gear-esque now. Didn't Clarkson set fire to the something that he was cutting in half? I feel like probably is the answer there. It might just make the car completely useless and broken. Uh, excuse me. Extinguisher. Ooh, lots of fire, lots of fire. Put all of that out. Are we good? Are we still on fire? Okay, it still technically drives. All right. Blowtorch, the last bit. 
Oh, can I not get, like, the spine of the chassis? Oh, no. Did they think of this? Did they think that somebody would want to try and cut the car in half? And did they say, no, you are not allowed to do such shenanigans to a vehicle? Oh. It was a fun idea. Damn it, game! You have bested me. No, I don't even think... That's too far. Okay, have another one. That's not going to work. Can I not just place it under? There we go. Nope, that went too far as well. Damn it, I don't think I can blowtorch the car in half. No. Damn it, like the spine of the car is too strong. How far in? Oh, it's the seats that are catching on fire. Uh, no. Go, stop. Fine, one last chance. Oop, oh no, that didn't work. Now I just blow a hole in the floor. This is a resilient Land Rover. <laughs> Give me that. I have digressed massively from what I was doing. Uh, there we go. Have a crash. Oh, I thought the truck was going to fall on it. Anyway, we freed the big boat. Yes, we were, we were supposed to be doing something with that. We're going to tow it around using the smaller but still quite large boat. Uh, whoop. We're going to have to get on the big boat at some point, but this seems like a fun idea. Um, can I? Oh, no. Don't tell me I can't get on this bugger now. Help! Okay, that works. Right, and pull. Oh, physics doesn't like that. Tell you what, this has got some... This has got some power behind it. We are pulling that big boat like it is nothing. I should have quick saved before embarking on this madness, because if something goes wrong and that boat's going to get stuck out here... Oh, physics doesn't like me trying this one. I really should have quick saved because I cut a hole in the front of that boat. It is going to start taking on water. <gasps> okay. Gently, maybe we need to go a little slower. Oh, we have actually broken it. Okay, it was fun. It can be done, but maybe more subtlety is required. Probably a lot more subtlety is required than I can muster. Oh, this thing's quite broken as well now. Oh, do we turn left? Not very well. Oh, okay, well, it's in an island position. We can get up to it, hopefully, from here. Maybe. I don't really know. Uh, planks? Please, let me place the planks. Oh, crap. <laughs> That's as far as it goes. Oh, no, now I've made it a million times worse. Oh, there is a way to, like, put the planks together. You can do, like, some quite complicated things with the planks, but... Uh... Right, what if... Can I just do one across to there? Right, and then what if I pick up this one? Come here. Come here, you bugger. Right, and then if we rest it over there... No, stop. I mean, there is the other option. Can I just cut... Uh, oh! No, that was the bit that it was attached to. Can I just cut away onto... The, actually, I can go through the front hole. I made a hole in the front of the bloody boat. There's got to be a use for that hole. If it's not sinking the boat, I can climb in it. Sure. It's a big bloody hole in the front of the boat. Um, stop blowing holes in my ship, etc, etc. Can I cut through this wall? Yes. Just don't actually get the water in. Not that there's not a lot of water in here already. I need more blowtorch ammo. Because I the blowtorch is fantastic. It's very useful. Uh, right. Excuse me, door. Thank you. Okay. This thing is resilient. It does not sink easily. It is very slow, let's not forget. But... Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll start... Actually, that's not a bad idea. So we're going to part this boat... Yeah, there's a plan. Whether it's a good plan or not, I don't know. But it is a plan. We park the boat by the exit again. Maybe we start grabbing uh, this one because it's a pain in the ass to climb on the boat. So it's, it's a little bit of a slow voyage across. I guess you could park this next to the house, actually. Why am I going all the way when I could park it next to the house? Because we need to get to the house anyway. So if we start on the boat, get the house, do something after that. Okay, there's boats around the house. Wait, hold on. Isn't the other boat over that corner as well? All right. We got, we got the thinking. The thinking's going on. The thinking is going on here. Look at this. I'm being professional. We've only got slightly distracted trying to cut a Land Rover. In. Can I cut a boat in half? I feel like surely yes. I feel like we also must try this. I haven't got much blowtorch ammo left, but maybe enough. I probably shouldn't destroy all the vehicles I might need to use, though. Okay, so grab that one, grab that one. We can... One, two, run and get that, maybe. If we park a car by the house, we can race around, grab that one. Maybe grab that one, jump, drive the boat across over to here. Oh, it's only five we need, sorry. I just want to do something with that. I don't know where... I haven't actually looked at that one yet. Let's see. Uh, what is that one? Please be something nice, I guess. Um, what's on the floor? Did I do that? 
I had nothing to do with that. I've only I've only been farting around on the other side. I think. It's entirely possible it's my fault, let's be honest. Van! You're gonna be my mode of transport currently. That lamppost isn't needed. See? Look at that. It's fine. Uh, okay, so what have we got inside this boathouse? I presume it's a boathouse. This might be an awkward... I guess we'd use the van to just drive around. That seems like... Oh! Must have clipped the gate or something. Right. Look at me, I'm opening doors. Wait, was it here? Nope, it was a smaller building. <laughs> That's fine. Nope, can't do that. Oh, we've got to drive the van because the gate's only open for vehicles. Oh, I could, again, I could blowtorch through it, I guess. Oh, I have start, I have, yeah, I'm using new tools. Look, last time we opened the door, this time I feel like we have to do it the fail race way, which is a perfectly good door, so I battered it with a sledgehammer. There we go. Oh, you're a boat. Can I cut the cables? Yes, is the answer to that question. <gasps> Wait, are you drivable? Oh, can you be driven? Maybe it doesn't need to be that. Might be able to be towed. Oh, God, no, don't make make sure it's still seaworthy. Christ. Maybe this wasn't the best idea I've ever had. Um, hold on. Okay, are you still seaworthy? Yeah, maybe. Can I use this? Oh, it's still attached to the boat, though. Uh, that does the trick, <laughs> I think. Most of it seems to be detached from the boat, apart from that bit. You know what, that bit, you can come with us. That's fine. Do you float? Where's my speedboat gone? I need that one back again. I shouldn't have left it out in the middle of the bloody ocean. Uh, where are Are there any other boats? Because if I can tow that one around, we can tow it under the bridge, we can have it along here so we can just grab stuff, grab stuff, and then be ready to go. Do I have any more... Oh, Click and drag on the map. Uh, the only boats we've got left are the speedboats stuck out in the middle of the ocean. Well, I think ocean, harbour, whatever you want to call it. I guess, Van, you're up. You can drive me around to the swimming point, and we'll go and grab that. We'll bring it along, we'll tow the little... the little what's left of that boat about. I feel like we're kind of... I feel like we're prepared for this. No, don't say that. I know what the curse of the commentator is like whenever you say something dumb like that. The curse of the commentator is strong. Is the pier strong enough? No. <laughs> I had to test it. I don't need that anymore. I hope. Look, I had to test that. As far as experiments go, I was curious whether the pier would survive a van landing on it. I can now categorically say no. Can we climb out? Yes. This. Now I have speedboat again. Well, kind of a speedboat. Can we turn? Not very well, but that's okay. You are missing most of the back of it, so that's understandable. So if I spin this around... Oh, I'm a little worried I'm going to literally just drag the hull off of that boat in there. What we're going to do, because I haven't been doing this, and I really bloody should have been, quick saving is helpful, because little mistakes are very easy to do on here. Back up, speedboat. Now, plank it up from there to here. Now, let's not go crazy. I know it's tempting... Hey, does it float? Please float. Please float. Please float. Not very well. Mm. Don't set off the alarm. If you set off the alarm, I think we're screwed. However, it does seem to be seaworthy. Barely. I might be about to lose my roof, but the roof isn't an important part on this vessel. We're not going to fit through there, are we? Oh, come on. I'm lazy. I don't want to go round. Probably should have gone round. Mayday, mayday, we are going down. We are sinking a little bit. No, 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 no. Okay, we are listing quite a lot. Ah, no, we have we have survived this mess. How is that still seaworthy? It might not be, so what I'm gonna do, if that boat goes down, I'm not, don't want it to take the actual important objective boat with it. How is that still seaworthy? I don't know. Okay, let's just have a look. Let's have a look at the plan. Let's have a look at the plan. We've got two ready to go over there. So they're going to be nice and straightforward. Really, all we need is something... So we got... So we grab that one. Grab that one. We're going to jump out the window, grab a car, race around over here, jump onto that one, grab that. Maybe even... I mean, we might as well take the boat, I guess. Boat it across to there, grab that, and then jump out, take that, and then we're done. To me... I'd say, oh, well, eventually remember how to get out of that menu. All we got left to do is set up the car, and then I think we're basically set. 
Okay. Surprisingly efficient. No, don't say that again. Remember. Remember the curse of the commentator. Remember how bloody powerful it is. Hmm. We didn't do that much damage to the bridge. Uh, oh, we're going to cut a boat in half. We don't need a boat. We've decided there, there are boats there. Before before we go and do this, we're going to find out if you can cut a boat in half and if it sinks when you do. I'm slightly disappointed with the cars. I wanted to be able to drive around in the front end of a car. You might be able to break it in like a specific way, but it doesn't look like you can break it intentionally. Okay, so if we... Wow, this is a strong boat. Okay, it's it's resilient to the... To <laughs> yes, you can cut a boat in half. It's, just, it's resilient to the blowtorch, not to the sledgehammer. How do I get out of here? Oh, we'll just go swim under here. Oh, it's fine. Well, we need to go in the big boat anyway, so... Why not? Uh, I think we can actually just jump onto it from here. All right. Here we go. Oh, wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Not ready yet. Not ready yet. Um... Let's make a quick way into this house. I actually got to find where. I presume it's in one of like, the offices or something, but... Knock, knock! That's the bathroom. Not going to be an alarm box. That's another bathroom. <laughs> where is the thing that we need here? I'm just breaking walls because I can. Where is the thing? Oh, it's in this back room. Wait. In there? Hello? Where is... Ah, it's over there. Right. Okay. We're in like this. Oh god, there's a hole in the floor now. Maybe I shouldn't have done this quite this style. <laughs> okay, no, don't don't set that alarm off. Right. Um, oh, that's a valuable thing. Right. So, we grab the thing off the boat. We run through the hole in the wall up the stairs. Grab the thing that we've got up there. We jump out the window to the waiting car. We put the car around the back. That's going to make more sense, I think. We'll have a waiting car. We'll have the little, hopefully, speedy hatchback. Are you a speedy hatchback? No, but you're better than walking. Actually, no, it's not too bad. I'd like a supercar. We're not going to quite get a supercar, but there we go. So we'll jump out to the waiting car. We'll jump in this. We'll race to the other boat. Bail. We'll grab the thing. Drive the boat. Bail. Get the other one. And then grab the one that's parked next to the actual gateway vehicle. And then we're out. Theoretically. Here we go. We're going to save it because it's about to get frantic. Right. The alarm is off. And we are in to the house. We will run. Not into there. Run through here. Mind the hole in the floor. Grab this. Should have broken the window, but we are out nevertheless. Into the car we go. Race our way around. The boat bit is actually going to be the biggest pain, I think, because that boat's not very quick. Oh, a little bit of oversteer from the car. Yoink that into the ocean. Shouldn't have probably done that. Because we can't climb up here. Come on! Okay, I'm learning an important lesson. This bloody thing doesn't work. Uh, right, we have made a mess of things a little bit here. Just a smidge. I think we're still going to be able to do it because it was well prepared. We had contingencies for as and when things inevitably go a little bit awry because it's fail race. Uh, okay, I need to work on the exit strategy a little bit here. Oh, it's going to be right down to the bloody wire again, isn't it? Yoink, we're out! <laughs> I need to work on my... Oh, we fumbled it a little bit at the end. However, yeah, it could definitely be a little bit smooth. We still have 3.6 seconds left. Um, I could probably get out to about 10 seconds left without too much trouble. With that strategy, there may be a better way of doing it. Uh, I quite like that one, though. I feel like we were fairly efficient. I've been a lot less efficient. We got all the objectives. There was a little bit of a drift around there. I, yeah, what I did with the car, I probably shouldn't have done. I should have been a little bit cleverer with that one because we farted around here for ages. Uh, so I should have I should have drove the car towards the houses and jumped on the pier and then jumped in the boat. That would have saved me some time because we wasted a, yeah, a good chunk of time in there. And then it was onto the boat. <sighs> we did it. That was actually a well-planned, well-thought-out, well-prepared mission. I thoroughly enjoyed that one. Less, I say less destructive as I I mean, you see the trail of devastation we have left. And I needed to work on the exit strategy there, actually. Uh, that was a little bit sloppy. Yeah, it could definitely be a bit quicker, but that was good fun. We got it. We got it. We got the mission, and everything was done. Let's just go continue. I'm curious to see. Are we going to have new toys, perhaps, from all of that? Sometimes we get new toys if we level up. Oh, we got no new toys this time around. Disappointing. Disappointing indeed. Well, that is going to be it for this video. I don't know what that was. It just didn't really do very much. That did quite a lot. Uh, yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much 
for watching. And until next time, I've just spotted a tractor. Maybe we'll play around with that next time. But until next time, a uh, goodbye.